There are now just as many videos questioning whether the end of the NHR means that foreigners who have moved to Portugal in recent years should leave, as recently there were videos saying that Portugal was a paradise, not just for tax purposes, and that everyone in the world should move here. This is going to be another video about the end of the NHR. Sorry. It's unlikely that anyone who has decided to watch this video doesn't know what the NHR is. NHR stands for Non-Habitual Residents and when we talk about NHR, we mean the special tax regime to attract foreigners to Portugal. These foreigners would be people with useful qualifications for Portugal or retired people. I'm not going to talk any more about the features of the program for two reasons. One. I'm not qualified to explain taxes to anyone. Two, I tend to skip the economics pages of the newspapers and my interest in this area is completely non-existent. But I am interested in talking about things that people say on the internet. And lately, from the tone of the videos on the subject, it seems that Portugal is about to be hit by an asteroid and foreigners have to pack their bags, go home or start looking for an apartment in Albania. My completely uninformed and useless opinion is this. Portugal wasn't paradise before. The weather can be good, we have many hours of sunshine during the year, but as you may have realized if you live in Portugal now, it can also rain a lot. And we have a lot of problems. Wages are low, the cost of living is high for natives, frequent fluctuations in the job market make people emigrate, especially young people. The health system is chaotic, there is no effective support network for the elderly, some people insist on stuffing cheese inside pastéis de bacalhau and pretending it's traditional, and one of the worst problems, the entire country is built on a network of crocodile infested tunnels. The end of the NHR doesn't change anything about these problems. If you've managed to live in Portugal so far, with all these problems, is the end of the tax benefit serious enough to force you to leave? For many, I think so. I've also heard people complain that the end of the NHR will force them to pay more tax and that this will make their lives much more difficult. Some even add the exact figure of what they'll have to pay extra in taxes and it's usually a figure several times higher than the total annual income of ordinary Portuguese people. The same people who also managed to live in Portugal without NHR. Does the end of the NHR mean that you have to leave Portugal? Let's sum it up like this. If you came to Portugal because you like the country, because the culture and language interest you, because you like the food and the history, because eating pastéis de nata makes you happy and underneath it all, the NHR was also an incentive, stay. If you only came to Portugal because of the NHR, go. In any case, even if the NHR continued, it would only be a matter of time before you started hating Portugal, for our many problems or for the fact that Portugal isn't your country. Personally, I hope that most of you stay, that you contribute to a better country and that you don't start inflating the price of pastéis de nata until each one costs 300 euros. Is that alright? Thank you.